Wake up! <sighs> but I'm still sleepy. Look, you've overslept again. Just five more minutes. Look, you've been sleeping for two months. <sighs> Fine. Guess it's time for a build update then. Uh, where did I? Where did I leave Piglet? and welcome back to another video and today we are back to the epic quest build updates and I'm in Fordos because we have another update so let's just get back into it and see what we have in store here now we can see a few corrupted chunks um minor setbacks but that's not what we're looking at here we're going to be looking at all the cool updates that we have so let's jump into it so this area here is brand new and look at that castle, we're going to get to that a bit later on. But I just wanted to show off this area here which is kind of the richer area. So I'm just going to take a walk around and have a look into some of the buildings and see what we can find. Okay, so let's walk into down here. And all of these are made with wool as well as a cobblestone as well. I'll get rid of those maps, don't need them on my inventory. And let's just go inside, let's see if we can get inside one and see what we can explore. Ah, I can't find an entrance into any of them. Okay, so they're pretty plain inside at the moment. And we're just going to jump up here and fly a bit further on and just have a look at the overview of all of these houses. Okay, so we've got some interesting stuff right here. We jump down. Okay, what we've got here? Peter's home. Okay. But where does Peter live? Ah, let's just move on. We'll move on. Okay, so right here we have a guide of the city. This is a city map. And we've got the entrance here. Uh, these are the houses which haven't been placed in yet, which are floating above the city. We can see them there. And um, we'll jump down here again. This is going to be the poor district. So uh, this is a poor district, which is shown off a lot in other videos. It's been completely finished now. And over here we have another district, which is gonna be poor district as well. Um, not really too much in this has been done as of yet. This is sort of like the medium rich district. And over here we have the palaces. So we've got one palace here, another palace here, and we're gonna have a final palace here. These bits we've decided is going to be garden areas. So let's just go have a look at them. So here are the palaces and the two palaces here. Oh, and we've got another palace over here as well, which is part of the rich district in the medium section, the mid section. Um, we can't get inside this one. The door has been closed, but we're just going to have a look around the side of that. See if we can peer in through the windows. And Oh, no, we're not going to be able to get inside. Okay, that's fine. We don't want to break our way in. And over here we have another palace, which is starting to be worked on. Not much has been done there yet. But over here, the very, very nicely done palaces. We've already had a look at this one in the past, but for anyone that hasn't seen it, I'm just going to fly around the inside of it quickly. But there's not an awful lot to show as of yet. Um, we're just going to jump out and just go over to this palace over here. And we can't get inside this one, but I just want to show this off. Uh, this has been made by Dan Lim, one of our amazing builders has been doing a lot of work recently. We've been showing off a lot of Dan Lim's work. And look at the detail, the intricate details of the building. Which is amazing. And fly up to the top. <laughs> Let's try and jump off. Game mode zero. And we're just going to jump. Ouch. Ouch. And I'm not going to die because death has not been enabled on here. <laughs> that was pretty fun to be honest. Okay, let's move on. So over here we have the poor district. Now this has been completely finished and we've shown it off in many, many episodes. So we're not really going to take too much notice of it now. But we're just going to jump down and, and show you a little bit of what to sort of expect. Um, it's quite vague. The, the buildings are very, very spaced out and they're very very basic um, not particularly beautiful but I think that's the idea behind them and over here we have what I like to call the underbelly of Fornost I'm just gonna go down into the underbelly 
and look what we have here we have a ravine and this is like the sewers and there are buildings and people um, living in here I, I think this could be like an ancient prison maybe um, I'm not really too sure what the guys are going for here but it looks like a prison looks like an underbelly looks like a sewer all of the th things at the same time maybe it's like a secret organization that hides out under here who knows but we just want to explore around at the moment um, oh okay um, and then we've got the sewer parked here I'm just gonna follow that along and see where we end up Okay, don't want to get stuck. Okay. And keep going round. Okay, and it comes out over here. <laughs> so this is all going to be linked up, I imagine, all throughout the city, having secret entrances all over the place. I think there's another one around here, but I don't really want to... Uh, it's going to be too hard to find, I think. But there is another exit here that comes out of the sewer. Is that it there? No, no, I'm not going to be able to find it, to be honest. But... That's about it for Fornost at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed this short little update. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.